Hey, what is up everyone? Here's how to set up TeamViewer for remote access. Now for us to get started, it's very easy here in Google. What you're going to do is just look for TeamViewer download, um, this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. So as of the moment, I'm using Windows. I'm gonna click this first option right here. And then what you're going to do is look for uh, this one, the full client. We want to have the full client here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the download the 64 bit. And I'm just going to save this one right there. And then we're going to wait for this one to be done. Afterwards, I'm just going to open it just like so. And then we're just going to choose a default installation. Accept next, click yes. And then we're going to wait for these. All right, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this and then click the continue button until we are done setting this up. And yep, there you go. So for us to get started, we need to create our own team viewer account. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap the create one in here. And then we're just going to use our Gmail to log in in here. So you have down below continue with Google, go ahead and choose that. I'm going to go ahead and click this one right here. Click the continue button and there you go. So this time let's go ahead and set our encryption key. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and try to write here uh, the password. So this is very important, by the way. All right, I've done it. I'm going to click this, click create an account and basically I'm done. All right. And after doing that one, we are redirected here. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue, continue, get started and boom. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do in order for me to connect to the other one is by typing their, your, um, their partner ID. So you should be able, or they should be able to see it here. What they're going to do is just look at that particular partner ID and then write it here. Afterwards, when you're going to hit the connect button right here, um, they will also be prompted to ask for a password. So take note that you can actually refresh your password every now and then in order for us or in order for this to be secured. And yep, that is how easy it is to get this done. Thanks for watching and have a good day, everyone.